C I E T N C E R T presents audiobook of mathematics for class 3 entitled math magic 3 chapter 6 fun with give and take part 3 page 84 let's deliver letters postman uncle is ill today Let's deliver the letters for him. The picture below shows a table of 6 rows and 10 columns. At the right hand side there is a red colored post box. The top of the table looks like the roof of hut. At the left hand side there is a tree. First row 481 482 483 Four eighty four, four eighty five, four eighty seven. Four seventy eight, four seventy nine, four eighty. Third row, four sixty one, four sixty two, four sixty three, four sixty four, four sixty five, four sixty six, four sixty seven, four sixty eight, four sixty nine, four seventy. Fourth row. Four fifty one, four fifty two, four fifty three, four fifty four, four fifty five, four fifty six, four fifty seven, four fifty eight, four fifty nine, four sixty. Fifth row, four forty one, four forty two, four forty three, four forty four, four forty five, four forty six. Four forty seven, four forty eight, four forty nine, four fifty. Sixth row, four thirty one, four thirty two, four thirty three, four thirty four, four thirty five, four thirty six, four thirty seven, four thirty eight, four thirty nine, four forty. Write the correct room numbers on the letters, then find the rooms. in the above building and circle them picture below shows 15 postcards each postcard contains a question that needs to be solved to find the correct room number first postcard 445 plus 10 is equal to 455 this is solved as an example make a circle on room 455 Second postcard is equal to four fifty six minus twenty is equal to dash. Third postcard is equal to four thirty plus twenty plus thirteen is equal to dash. Fourth postcard is equal to four twenty six plus thirty eight is equal to dash. Fifth postcard four sixty seven. Plus eleven is equal to dash. Sixth postcard four eighty minus nine is equal to dash. Seventh postcard four twenty nine plus ten plus twenty is equal to dash. Eighth postcard four fifty minus nineteen is equal to dash. Ninth postcard four ninety eight. Minus twenty three is equal to dash. Tenth postcard four sixty six minus thirty three is equal to dash. Eleventh postcard four fifty two plus eighteen is equal to dash. Twelfth postcard four hundred ten plus thirteen plus eleven is equal to dash. Thirteenth postcard. Four thirty plus fifteen is equal to dash. 
fourteenth postcard, four sixty seven plus twenty two is equal to dash. Fifteenth postcard, four sixty one plus twenty five is equal to dash. Footnote: The teacher should encourage students to solve the problem mentally using the above chart. Page eighty five. Find the missing numbers. Question: Look at the number pattern and find the missing numbers. Part A: hundred, two hundred, three hundred, dash, dash, six hundred, dash. Part B: nine hundred, eight hundred, seven hundred. Dash, dash, four hundred, dash. Part C, fifty, hundred, one fifty, two hundred. Dash, dash, dash. Part D, three hundred, two fifty, two hundred. Dash, dash. Dash, part E, dash, twenty five, thirty five, forty five, dash, dash, part F, two eighty, two sixty, two forty, dash, 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 part G, one twenty five, one fifty. One seventy five, two hundred, dash, two fifty, dash, dash. Page eighty six. Mental maths. Each question given below has two parts. There are two numbers in each question, and out of the two, one number is common. Question A. First part. Eighty minus thirty-five is equal to forty-five. This part is solved as an example. A black ant at the right-hand side is saying, "Eighty minus thirty minus five is equal to fifty minus five is equal to forty-five." Second part, forty-five plus thirty-five is equal to dash. A black ant at the right-hand side is saying, "Forty-five plus thirty-five is what? Forty plus thirty plus five." Question B. First part. Seventy-five minus dash is equal to fifty. Second part. Fifty plus dash is equal to dash. Question C. First part, hundred and ten minus sixty is equal to dash. Second part, fifty plus sixty is equal to dash. Question D. First part, three twenty minus one twenty is equal to dash. Second part, dash plus one twenty is equal to three twenty. Page eighty seven. Practice time. Question one. Indu's pencil is fifteen centimeter long. Jyoti's pencil is eight centimeter long. Whose pencil is longer? How much longer? Picture on the left hand side shows two girls, each holding a pencil. Question two. Ask your papa or mummy. Part A, price of one kilogram salt. Part B, price of one kilogram sugar. Part C, which one is more costly? Part D, how much more does it cost? Picture on the left hand side shows one packet of salt and one packet of sugar. Question three: Ajay cooked chapati in twenty-five minutes. 
Then he made dal in 15 minutes. How much time did he took to cook both things? Picture on the right hand side shows a person is making chapatis. Question 4. Chanchal sells school sweaters. In two days, she sold some red, blue and grey coloured sweaters. At the right hand side, there is a table with two rows and three columns detailing the sale of sweater. Row 1. Sweater sold on first day. 38 red, 66 blue, 74 grey. Row 2. Sweater sold on second day. 40 red, 23 blue, 89 grey. Look at the above and answer the following. Part A. How many grey sweaters did Chanchal sell in two days? Part B. Did she sell more red sweaters than blue sweaters in two days? Page 88. Questions continue. Part C. How many red and grey sweaters did she sell on the first day? Tick the right answer. Option 1. More than 120. Option 2. Less than 120. Part D. How many sweaters in all did she sell on the second day? Tick the right answer. Option 1. More than 140. Option 2. Less than 140. Question 5. Is Sangeeta right? Sangeeta went to the market with her grandpa. The picture below shows Sangeeta and her grandpa standing near a shop and Sangeeta pointing at the various items kept at the shop's counter. Following items were kept on the counter. Oil with price tag of rupees 70. Biscuits with price tag of rupees 25. Ghee with price tag of rupees 127. Packet of 10 kg rice with price tag of rupees 150. She looked at the price and said to her grandpa, Part A. Ghee is rupees 102 costlier than biscuit. Part B. Price of oil and ghee altogether is more than 200 rupees. Part C. Price of ghee and 10 kg rice is less than 300 rupees. Part D. Oil costs 40 rupees more than a pack of biscuits. Is Sangeeta right? Mark right or wrong in the box. Can you find this without using paper and pencil? The Chapter 6 Fun with Give and Take Part 3 Of total, 14 chapters of the book ends here. Narrator Akash Ahuja Sound Recordists Batilang Lingdo and Mayank Kumar Assistance in Production by Minakshi Kukreti Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary This book is presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi India